Are you ready to take your business to the next level and make the money you want so that you can create the impact you desire? Then you're in the right place. It's possible to run a successful business built around your life. Get ready for a little bit of tough love and a whole lot of strategy to grow your business without sacrificing your sanity. If you're ready to get out of your own way and step into the role of CEO, then let's go. I'm Amy Tra, and this is the Motivated CEO Podcast. As a solopreneur, chances are you're wearing most, if not all, of the hats in your business. You're doing all of the things all of the time, but are you strategically focusing your energy, the time that you do have, into your IPAs? And we are not talking craft beer here. We are talking about income producing activities, especially as a solopreneur. It is so easy to get caught up in the busy, get caught up chasing shiny objects, doing things because we think we're being productive when in reality, it's just holding us back. So in today's episode, I am going to share my three daily IPAs that keep the momentum moving forward. And the really interesting thing about your income producing activities is that most of these activities apply to all industries. You don't have to just be a service provider. Yes, if you have a product-based business, you have to add in actually producing the product if that is part of your business. But these three income-producing activities will create the momentum because what does momentum do? Momentum creates results. So we have to be strategic. We have to maximize and leverage our time so that we are treating our business like a business. We also need to be mindful when we are considering what are my IPAs, what are those income producing activities that will generate that momentum? How are they addressing buyers at all stages of my funnel? That's something very easy to get caught up in is to just focus on list building or just focus on creating content. But the thing is, we don't live in a vacuum. There are buyers at different stages of our funnel all the time. We have people that don't even know about us yet that are just getting that awareness. We have people that are contemplating a purchase. So we need to have these activities in place so that we are serving all of these people at all of the different stages of the funnel. Because if you're just focusing on list building or you're just focusing on conversions, chances are you're missing out on an entire piece of the puzzle. So let's go ahead and dive in. My first income producing activity is connection. Now hear me out. You can have the best opt-in in the world because we're always list building, right? But how are we being visible? How are we getting seen? How are we generating that awareness that we exist? And for me, social media is not something I prioritize as top of funnel for visibility and discoverability. And I've done a few podcast episodes about this, and I'll go ahead and link them below so that you can dive in and listen to these other ways other than social media that you can get seen. We're connecting with those who would be ideal clients by strategically and intentionally placing ourselves where they are are. It's not about doing all of the things all of the time. It's about having a plan, knowing that ideal client inside and out and how we can serve them if we are the best person to serve them. Because when we make sure that we are only taking on clients that we know we can help, we get better results. 
And when we get better results for our clients, what happens? They become our super fans. They advocate for us. They fill in that piece of the puzzle that is retention and referral. This is magical. It's so simple that it's complicated. So really focus on connecting. How am I connecting with those ideal clients in my world? So number two, create. So we're getting visible, but then how are we providing value in order for this person to view us as credible, view us as an authority, view us as the solution to the problem that they have. And how do we go about doing this? How do we know what's working and what's not working? My friend, it is data. It is data and I know you're cringing right now. I know you're rolling your eyes, but what I want you to do is really start to get curious. So let's take your email list for example. That has so much data in it. It's a gold mine of data. I think entrepreneurs do not realize the amount of data that is in your email list. So what I want you to do is write down the emails you've sent over the last month and get curious. What was the open rate for each of those emails? Okay, you know your open rate. Let's look at the subject line. What was the subject line that people were opening the most? What were the subject lines that people really weren't resonating with? That right there is data. That is information. So now the ones that performed really well, get curious and go, hmm, what about that provoked curiosity? And that's something I love doing even in my own business. When I'm going through my emails, I'll jot down if an email subject line piques my interest. And I get really curious and go, well, why? What about this subject line is it making me want to open this email? Because we are living in a three second world, right? We have zero attention spans. We're scrolling constantly. We're bombarded by information. So we have to catch the attention of our potential clients we have to stand out because again just like your opt-in you can have the most incredible opt-in you could have written the most incredible email full of so much value but if no one's opening it what's the use right so get curious and then you can dive even deeper and see okay well what was the unsubscribe rate am i sending emails too frequently not frequently enough Maybe the people that are unsubscribing just don't have a need for what I offer. And that's the really cool thing, how you can leverage social media then is to go in and look at the data. You can see, okay, on my email list, so-and-so opened my email. Let's go over to social media. Are they actually an aligned client? Are they my people? And then we can really use that for our next IPA, which is cultivate. How are we cultivating that know, like, and trust? I know it's been said before, but I'm gonna say it again right now. People buy from people. We get so focused on the list building on the visibility that we forget to serve those that are already in our world. This goes for social media. This goes for email. This goes for people reaching out in the DMs. How are we connecting and cultivating and engaging with them? Think about it. It's called social media. How social are you actually being on these platforms? And over the last month, I did an experiment. I wasn't posting as frequently on social media, but do you know what I was doing? I was engaging, I was connecting. And I will tell you what, my Instagram engagement went up to, or I'm sorry, my Instagram visibility, like the, like the number of people that viewed it 
went up over 200%. It was crazy the amount of visibility that I was gaining. And again, you know, I always take it with a grain of salt because you never know, like, is Instagram showing it to my people? Is it not? You don't know. But I mean, it was cool to see that, that by engaging, not posting more, but just being a human, connecting with people that I met in different coffee chats, like, hey, tell me more about you. I host a coffee chat. If you're ever looking for a networking event, come on over. We do this thing monthly on the first Monday of every month at 1230. You should totally come join us. If you're interested, I can drop the link. So again, just building those connections so I can get to know them better. I'm not going in and pitching everybody and coming off as desperate as buy my thing because we need to get to know each other. I want to get to know them as well. So I know if I'm the best fit to meet their needs. Because what I do is very, very niche. It's very specific. I really help you get into the nitty gritty of strategy. So if you're just starting out, I might not be the best fit for you, but I know someone that is. So people are always buying from people. And I want you to ingrain that in your brain. And also don't just engage with new followers, engage with the people that have been there for a while, engage with your referral partners, engage with past and current clients. This keeps you top of mind. This is going to make you stand out because how many people are actually taking the time to pop in and just say hello and be a human. Like what's going on in your world? Like, can you believe it's almost Q4? I sure can't. And it just opens up that genuine organic conversation so that the next time they or someone that they hear has a need, you are top of mind. So that my friend, those are my the three IPAs that I focus on every single day, connection, creation and cultivation. Do those three things on repeat. Feel free, steal them, take my IPAs because I want you to be successful. So ask yourself, am I being busy for the sake of being busy or am I actually creating momentum, putting my time into strategic areas that will grow my business? I am here cheering for you. And until next time, cheers to making the money you want so you can create the impact you desire. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 